<laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on that now. It's like something you see it, you can't unsee it. Hey everybody, welcome back to another live action Little Mermaid doll slash toy video. Um, I'm really excited for this one, more than I thought I would be, um, because this is not something that I normally collect, but um, I decided to get this because I saw them and I, I actually really like them. Anyway, of course I am talking about the Daughters of Triton 7 pack. Uh, it's, or sorry, it's the Ariel and Her Sisters set. Uh, this is from Mattel and we've got all seven of her sisters to I found I heard that they have different names so it's not um, Aquata, Arista, Adela, Alana, Adina and I don't remember all the names <laughs> Anyway, um, apparently it's not the same names as before. And of course, right now, my neighbor is deciding to use the outside power tools. Uh, or the, <laughs> I don't know, it sounds kind of like a leaf blower or something. I don't know what's going on right now. But um, I also thought that the, the sunlight coming straight into the camera lens was going to be an issue. And it kind of is, but I don't know, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, well, pff, there's that. Anyway, hold on. All right, that's a little bit better. I went and got one of the other chairs. They sit up a little bit higher and I lowered the camera. So now I'm blocking the sun and it just looks like I have a really cool backlighting situation. <laughs> So I forgot what I was saying. Um, I think uh, I was talking about the sisters and having different names and stuff like that. So I'm gonna actually look that up here in just a little bit. Um, here was the stock photo of the, of the dolls. And of course, I'm gonna show them to you much closer once I get them out of the box and stuff like that. Uh, in fact, let me go ahead. Oh, I did wanna point this out. So there is actually a little QR code here if you want to scan it. Um, go ahead and like pause the video and scan this QR code. It just basically brings you to a page where you can listen to some music from the upcoming soundtrack. Um, and so far, the only music that's on there for each of these, it's the same QR code each time. And it's just like a 30 second clip of Party Your War from uh, the new movie but I'm really excited for the whole soundtrack to come out because Halle Bailey has got some pipes on her <laughs> she's a beautiful voice and I'm really looking forward to the music I love the music from the Little Mermaid and I'm so happy that they didn't go the Cinderella route and that they did keep the songs so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get these lovelies out of the box really quick so that way we can take a closer look and I'm also gonna look up their names and see if I can find out who is who and what their new names are. I'm also curious if any of them have the original names from the, the animated film or if they're all brand new. So we'll figure that out. I'm gonna get them out of the box. I will be right back. Okay, they are out of the box. They are adorable. I'm gonna start with Ariel and then I'm gonna work my way through all of the sisters. I found a website that has their names on it. So I'm just gonna go in order that the, ha the website has them listed just so that way I can keep track of who's who. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is the Ariel one. Hold on, let me zoom in so you can really see her. She's so cute. They did such a good job, even on this tiny scale, of capturing the likeness of Halle Bailey. She looks so pretty. And she does have her little mole there, her little beauty mark over her uh, eyebrow up there. And she's just so cute. Like, and then her, the tails are kind of like the see-through iridescent and they've got like painted details on them, only on the front, the back there is no paint, but that's fine. Now, they do have a little bit of articulation. There is movement at the head, but they can only move left and right. They can't look up or down. Uh, and then they have movement at the shoulders, but once again, it can only twist back and forth. The arms do not go out at all. Um, they just kind of twist back and forth. And then there is a joint at their hips, so they can actually sit down. I have to say that this is the type of toy that I was obsessed with when I was a kid. I had a few little miniature dolls like this uh, that were about this scale and had, you know, very simple articulation. But when I was like a young kid, I'm talking about like when I was maybe like five or six, um, I had a couple. So like 
these dolls I would be absolutely obsessed with when like when I was a kid if I was a kid now and these came out I would die I would beg for these I'm so happy I think the only thing that can improve on like obviously we always want more articulation I love the posability but that's not even the thing like I'm fine with this on this scale I'm fine with the way that it is um, I wish that it had rooted hair I think it's the one thing that I would like for these to have is rooted hair but even still like I was obsessed with little dolls like this back in you know the late 80s early 90s they had little toys like this and I, I was obsessed with them I love these little figures and I would play with these and stuff like that so um, I am obsessed with these I love these so much anyway so yeah this is Ariel she's got her little pink and blue painted tail and stuff like that next up we have Ariel's first sister that we're gonna look at is the one with the purple hair and I, I am so sorry if I say any of these names wrong I'm gonna try my best but I believe this one is Karina yeah, Karina, I believe is her name. So we've got this one here. She's got the purple hair in, in the high ponytail, the Ariana Grande one with the, <laughs> with the blue mermaid tail. Oh, I love the swirls and the print on her tail. It's just so pretty. I think each of these sisters are kind of like inspired by different types of tropical fish. Um, anyway, here's her face. I looked at the pack and this I got a pretty good one. All of them have pretty decent faces. So she's so pretty and I love I love her high ponytail. Uh, um, there's no articulation or movement. Her hair is just molded uh, and she has the same articulation as Ariel. So all right. So next up we have Tamika. So here is Tamika. This is the sister that has the darkest skin tone. I think the last one was the one that had the most pale. No, there's one more that's the most pale. Um, but anyway, so this is the darkest skin tone of, of all the sisters. They're all, all the sisters I've noticed are different like races and, and hair colors and types and textures and stuff. Um, and they all have different inspiration for their look as well as their tail, which I think is a really interesting take on this. Um, like I know that in the original animated cartoon, they tried to make them all look similar because they're all um, like siblings and stuff like that. And this time the, all the sisters are very different. And um, I'm curious as to like if it was just a colorblind casting that they were doing or if they did it on purpose like are the sisters adopted or something i don't know we'll have to wait and find out when the movie comes out um but i don't really care i like the variety <laughs> especially when it comes to the dolls so i am not complaining at all um anyway so here is tamika she has some beautiful hair once again i really wish that it was rooted hair because i would i love curly hair on dolls it's just so much fun to play with um she has like this like gold painted like crown or tiara i forgot what that kind of jewelry is called uh but it's some kind of a crown or diadem or something and look at her makeup oh my goodness her makeup is so pretty it's like this teal eyeshadow and then she's got like purple lipstick i am obsessed and then here is her uh it's i, I almost said outfit but really it's just the top and then her tail so pretty. I know that I've seen fish like this. I just don't know what they're called or what type of fish it is. But anyway, so this is Tamika. All right. So next up we have Inderia. Inderia? Yeah, I believe it's Inderia. So here is Inderia. She has kind of like a yellow gold kind of color scheme for her tail and everything. Here's her face up close. She is really, really pretty. I love her long brown hair and it's kind of got that waviness to it. Like it's floating in water. I love it. So once again, same, they all have the same articulation, so I don't need to keep showing you that. But um, I love this and she kind of reminds me of like a, is it a butterfly fish or a sailfish? I, not a sailfish. That's the sword anyway so yeah I, I don't know what any of like i said i don't know what any of these fishes are but she's all yellow and gold <laughs> all right so next up is perla and i think perla might be one of my favorites just because just because she has the the lara croft braid that's really the only reason why <laughs> But she also has teal hair, and I love teal with this, like, kind of corally pink color. I think it's a beautiful combination. So, anyway, here is Perla. She is gorgeous, and her look 
I just, I love this, like the bump in her hair right here, the ponytail with the long braid. I, I just love, oh, you know what I just realized? The way it's molded, it's a fishtail braid. <laughs> I love that. Once again, I just want to get a close up of her face so you can see her makeup. She is so pretty. Yeah, I think I think she's definitely one of my favorites, at least on for this these this scale. Oh, I like the purple in there. This looks so cute. And I love the glitter embedded inside of the plastic. I really, really like this. And I almost want to dye my hair this teal color. I don't think I've ever really done that, like all solid that color, but I, I kind of want to. <laughs> I've just been, been enjoying my hair its natural color. Um, all right, so the next one is Mala. Uh, Mala, M-A-L-A -A is the, how it's how it's spelled, but I don't know how that's pronounced. If it's Mala, I think it's Mala. I don't know. We'll find out. What, like I said, once the movie actually comes out, and we hear him saying it in the movie. But anyway, so here she is. Um, she looks like to be some kind of Asian inspired. I'm not sure. Oh, she almost looks like she's supposed to be like a koi fish or a goldfish. That's so funny. If you turn them on their side their little, uh, at their hips, that, that looks like the mouth of the fish. So it literally looks like a fish that's like swallowing, like you could do that for all of them, turn them on its side, like she's got gold lip. That's so funny. Look at that. <laughs> and then I, I'm just gonna show you all the ones so far because I don't totally did. There we go, looks like a fish. That's so funny. So anyway, same thing here. But like I said, it looks like either a goldfish or some kind of koi fish. It just happens to have pink in it. Um, but anyway, so here she is. I love her hair, that looks so cool. And she is also very, very pretty. She has a little crown. I wonder if she's like the oldest and so she gets the, she's next in line for the crown or something. I don't know, but she's really, really pretty. All right, and finally, we are to Caspia. I believe is her name. Once again, I don't know if I'm butchering these names or if I'm saying them correctly. Hopefully I'm saying them correctly. But anyway, so this is Caspia and she is the most fairest skin tone, like the, the most pale of all of them. So here she is. She has a light baby pink color for her hair. Her top is blue. Her tail is a light pale yellow. She's all about the pastels. And then, oh, here's what her fish looks like. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm stuck on that now. It's like something you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, but I really like the pattern. I don't know. I just, I really like her face. She is beautiful. I think she might be like my, my second favorite after, uh, what was the other one? What was her name? Perla. After Perla. I think this one might be, my, I don't know. I like them all. I really like the design of these dolls. These are so cute. And like I said, I would absolutely be obsessed with these when I was a kid. Um, these are the type of little toys that I loved playing with. So these are the daughters of Triton, great father who loved us and named us well. Anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, these are the daughters of Triton. Um, this is Ariel and her sisters. I love these so much. I. I really, really like these. I'm glad that I got them. Like, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get them at first just because I wanted to focus on the dolls and everything. But honestly, like, these are like little mini dolls and I really do like this scale of dolls. I re I don't know why. I, I, I think I said this when I reviewed the other mini dolls that I got from the Disney store that just like, there's something about this smaller scale of dolls that really resonates with me and it might just go back to my childhood because I remember playing with those when I was a kid like I would literally sit at my grandma's coffee table and play with them because she had like this little thing is kind of a centerpiece and um, it was like made from driftwood and I would have them climb on it and climb on you know hide underneath it and stuff like that I loved playing with these little dolls like this and the fact that these are mermaids like, I am so excited, and I wish that I had these when I was a kid. But anyway, I can't really decide on a favorite. I really do like Ariel as well. Honestly, I, th I think at the end of the day, Perla is probably my favorite. And then, um, what was her name, Caspia? Yeah, Caspia is in a very close second because I really do like her color scheme, but I just really, really like Perla's design, and I love the teal hair with this, like, 
coral color because teal and coral I think go really well together. Anyway, that is gonna be it for me. The sun is finally starting to go down and it is cooling off out here. And I just took a shower so my hair is still a little wet. So I'm getting cold now. Um, but I'm gonna head inside. Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to know which of these seven sisters is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments because um, I wanna see whose name I see the most, who ends up being the most favorite out of everybody who comments on this video. So anyway, I'm gonna get going for right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, then you obviously enjoy hanging out with me. Why not hit thumbs up and hit subscribe and stuff like that. Oh, and go watch the other videos. I, got, I did get all of the other dolls from Mattel that I was able to find at my local Walmart. And those videos, by the time this video goes up, they should already be up on my channel. You'll probably see a couple of them pop up on the screen uh, at the end here uh, once uh, you get to the little end credits or whatever that end screen is called. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.